We have a very difficult um, topic to study today because, as most of you probably know, there are thousands of meditation techniques. But meditation, indeed, is going to be the most sacred uh, practice that one can do because while it's very difficult to change the body, it's always very easy to change one's mind. So you'll find that regardless of what you practice that attempts to alter the body, if you practice techniques to alter the mind, then the body will follow in changes that the mind is reconstructing. So if you were to ask me what technique among all medical traditions that one can practice, I would say meditation is going to be the most advanced of all these my modalities. And like most of us, some of us learn by very tactile sensation, by touching. Some of us learn more by just listening. And some of us learn best by something that's more visual. So you have to first ask yourself, what particular way do you tend to do best when it comes to learning something? Are you more visual? Are you more hands-on? Are you more auditory? So we're going to try to practice each one of those types of meditations, and hopefully you'll find one that's more suited for you. But before we do any of those type of meditation, obviously, right, if you're studying Taoist meditation, it's going to have themes that relates to Taoism. So as you know already, one of the themes of Taoism is that Taoism is alchemical, and as Rosella described, right, one of the techniques of Taoist meditation influenced by alchemy is the transformation of Jing into Qi into Shen. Right? That means basically what you are trying to do is you're going to surrender the physical body to allow you to move into that which is non-physical or that which is immaterial that we refer to as the Shen. And as we think of something that spins, it begins to pull right, consciousness or pulls right, elements into this particular body. And as it expands, it pushes away things within the body. So this force can become a force of attraction it could become a force of repulsion. It becomes like a magnetic field that's within the body. So again, right, this is sometimes mechanically done by people doing meditation where they're actually spinning their body. So when you get into ritualistic Taoism, Sometimes the priest performs a ceremony where they are spinning around very rapidly that you see also in other shamanistic traditions. Okay, so let's begin. Might we'll close our eyes and just get a sense of where your natural breathing is at. So again, just Feel as you inhale, does the air go into your chest? Does it go into your abdomen or maybe in between or maybe both places? Where does your natural breath go into when you begin the process of being attuned to your natural breathing? For some people, relaxation means the area feels heavy. For others, it means the area feels lighter. So there's no by guidelines is what it means. It means whatever it means to you to relax an area. So again, be mindful. This is not a meditation technique. This is a relaxation technique. You're entertaining your mind by focusing on different aspects of the body. So as I breathe in, I focus on the top of my head, the forehead, and the eye socket, and as I exhale, I feel all that area relaxing. So again, right, honestly ask yourself, do you feel your neck relax? If it doesn't, right, you can, right, during this particular, right, move your head, shake off some of the tension you might feel. Just let the head feel very loose and very relaxed.
We're going to now practice concentration. Okay, and concentration means now assuming their body's relaxed. If you're not relaxed, you cannot concentrate. So let's do this very simple meditation of using color, but it is the first meditation in that particular scripture that I just mentioned. So let's close our eyes and imagine that you're absorbing yellow color, the color of the golden sun, the color of the earth element, the color right, of yellow. 